what's up Alana here welcome back to my channel so I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of my room because I did some things over I made some minor changes in here I am in the same space if you guys have been following me for a while then you know that I had that blue room well a little bit more blue than this my room used to be like a royal blue color um but recently i went in and i did some redecorating because i wanted the room to feel a little bit more cozy i just wanted to share some of the projects that i did with you guys and some of my organization tips and before we get into the video i do want to say a special thank you to the company claire paint they were a huge huge contributing factor to my room turning out perfectly the way that I wanted it to be. I'm not a thousand percent done with my room. There are still some things that I want to do and I'll talk about them as I go through each area but the paint is superb and I'm going to talk a little bit more about the paint in a second but I just wanted to say thank you to Claire for the paint. Now paint just might arguably be the most important factor when it comes to designing or decorating a room. Paint color is really important because if you have a small room and you go too dark, the room's gonna look small. Colors really affect your like your mood and your vibe and I just really wanted to go for something that was gonna be a little bit more calmer than the blue was but I also wanted it to just be kind of relaxing and kind of muted and I think that I hit the nail on the head with this color. This color is amazing. So let's talk about how we got started. My first idea was that I wanted to create a softer, more feminine space for my room. This room, it was blue, like this really electric, bright blue. And it was a beautiful blue, but I feel like the blue just really didn't fit my soul anymore. There needed to be a change. And I was reaching out on Instagram, by the way, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, then go and do that. I posted on Instagram, I was looking for some paint colors and I wanted to, you know, know if anyone had any recommendations. One of my internet friends reached out to me and recommended this company called Claire. I looked into the company and I really fell in love with their mission, the idea behind it. It is a women owned company. They just wanted to make it easier for and just women in general to kind of get the job done when it comes to painting. A lot of times when you think about paint, you think like Lowe's and like Home Depot and it's really kind of uncomfortable to go in there like buy paint because it's just such a dad store. And when you buy paint, it's like, you know, the swatches and then the, the paint and then you got to do all the extra stuff and you got to find out which tools you need. Claire takes care of all that for you. They actually have a whole entire toolkit, which they sent me as well. And I'm going to show you guys a couple of clips of those. But the toolkit is completely awesome. They have a drip cloth. They have um, brushes, the paint opener they have like rollers sponges like everything you could ever even like there was even an extender pole so they make it really super super easy to get the job done when it comes to painting now one of the reasons why I fell in love with the company was because I really like the names of their colors and they have a lot of colors that are not really common wall colors so I really like that because you know even looking for paint it was just hard because everybody has the same colors I feel like so their colors are actually really unique so what I did was I went over to the Claire website which is www.claire.com and I will leave that link down in the description box below on their website they actually have a quiz that you can take that will give you some suggestions of what paint colors you should look into for your room so I took the quiz and then I ended up ordering swatches I believe it was like five dollars for five swatches or something like that it was free shipping I went ahead and I ordered a couple of swatches and they actually came in this cute folder like this so I was really excited when I got my swatches and then I'm gonna show you guys what was in the package can we talk about the branding from this company like they are a one when it comes to branding oh my goodness everything was branded like down to the freaking garbage bag like everything was branded I love it so much so this is what came in the mail and then inside of it it just said fear no colors um you're one step closer to a beautiful space no mess required just peel stick and enjoy all the time you didn't spend literally watching paint dry so these were the swatches that i chose this one is cosmic vibes and I really love these swatches because they're literally just like peel and stick and I was able to see what like my wall would look like. I actually peeled and stuck this one on the wall next to my curtains because I bought the curtains first and I just wanted to see what you know what it would look like against each other and I fell in love. So this is actually the color that I went with. It's called Cosmic Vibes and 
that is it back there on my wall some other swatches that i got were wink which is another color that i really i was gonna go with wink but the reason why i didn't is because i wanted something that was gonna be a little a little deep but not like too dark and then i also wanted it to be like blue and gray with a hint of purple i don't know i was all over the place but claire they got me like they really had me because cosmic vibes is literally exactly what i was thinking of in my head i also have set in stone which is like a gray color i told you guys that i was looking at like more grays and then i was thinking like well should i go like beige or white so i was looking at beijing that's like a cute color it's like a, a off beige like like a nude it's really pretty and then also there's grage so that was this one so out of all the swatches that i got they were all just literally peel them off stick them to your wall you can you know see how they look i only used one gallon and i still have a lot of that gallon left so you don't even need a lot of paint at all one gallon did cover this whole entire room of course i would have done the paint myself okay but you guys know i have my grandpa here and he is like always up for a project when he heard that i wanted to redecorate my room he was like okay what paint are you getting and you know when i told him a little bit about the company he was like oh yeah let's do it he was actually really fond of the fact that they, they they sent all the supplies together and he thought that that was a really cool thing because if i did have to paint by myself it would have been a lot more simpler for me to get accomplished now that i told you guys about my paint let's get into the actual room and the decor okay so this is what my room looks like at first glance and i love how neat everything is i've been reading marie kondo books a lot lately and i'm just really learning to appreciate or like i've, I've always loved organization i'm a virgo like it's in our blood but I have definitely had areas that I lacked when it came to organization, specifically my room, because every Friday, like my room would be a tornado. So I felt like making sure that everything had a home in my room in my room was really important for me because then I know exactly where everything goes. And I know that as soon as I'm done using something, it has to go back in its home or else it doesn't belong in my room. And that has really helped me to keep the clutter, the disorganization and the mess just really down to a minimum in my room. Ever since like I did this project maybe like a month ago, my room has literally stayed this neat. And I'm very proud of myself because <laughs> honey like it can get it can get crazy so we're gonna start off on this side of the room so these curtains i did get from amazon they are darkening curtains and this is just a sheer one that i have in the middle the soft pink as you guys can tell i really love pink but soft pink is really one of my favorite colors and i haven't incorporated into my room like for a while because i couldn't figure out like what i wanted to do do i want to paint the walls pink do i want to do like a pink comforter i really just couldn't figure it out so once i saw these curtains i knew i wanted darkening curtains i got these and i was like okay i'm gonna build my whole entire room around these curtains and that is exactly what i did you guys remember these from a video that I did previously. These are DIY photo canvases and that is my beautiful baby girl when she was six months old. I love these pictures and they will stay forever. So I did DIY these, all three of them, and I do have a video showing you guys how I did these. So I will link it right here and then I will also link it in the description box as well. So if you remember my old room setup, these two were actually over my bed and um i think i'm gonna put something no i know i'm gonna put something different over my bed haven't a thousand percent decided exactly what that is going to be yet but i have a really cool idea for what i'm going to do up here i'm thinking about doing a diy project so if you guys are subscribed to my channel you will see the video when it comes out so i moved the pictures over the lamp symmetry is like my thing and so are stripes in case you can't tell on my nightstand these are just some roses they're fresh roses i do believe that having fresh plants and flowers in your room just kind of helps with your energy i have a couple of pictures of my boo and then my baby and then i have my alexa right here alexa's awesome this is from amazon i will link leave a link down in the description box below just in case you are interested in getting one of these things but i honestly feel bad because i cannot live without it now this is my alarm clock this is my alexa play beyonce radio on pandora 
Beyonce Radio from Pandora. Alexa, this is Cardi B. Off, please. So yeah, I like to play music on this. You can listen to your audibles. You guys know I'm huge on audiobooks. I can Bluetooth my phone and play my podcast here. And it just really works. I don't have to have like a bunch of, you know, like a Bluetooth speaker and an alarm clock. I don't have to have all that. I just have this and she gets the job done for me. This is my pink Himalayan sea salt lamp. This has a lot, a lot, a lot of great benefits. I sleep with this on every single night. It helps with, um, you know, energy levels and to cancel out negative ions. It really helps out with a lot of things. So if you guys want to know more about this, I'll leave maybe a link to a video or something down below. But you can totally Google it to see what the benefits are. But I do keep one in my room, in my hallway, as well as London's room. This is my my gratitude rock so um, I have this little game that I play that I you know just think about the things that I'm grateful for and I hold on to my gratitude rock and every time I see these rocks or every time I hold them this is a reminder for me to just you know take a second to stop and just appreciate the things that are really important in life because we have everything that we need already here's my nifty glass of fresh refreshing water I love to keep water next to my bed and then I'll just have some tissues for runny noses right next to my bed I have a nice little basket here I got the basket from Target don't really remember how much it was but it wasn't that expensive and this basket I just kind of keep things that need to be charged um, my phone goes in here at night because I do not sleep with my phone in the bed um, any remotes that I'm using like throughout the evening I'll throw in here as well um, my Bluetooth headphones and what is this a power bank so anything that needs to be charged throughout the night usually goes in here so that I remember to charge it so I'll show you guys um I did do some organization with my drawers but I'm only going to show you the first one because the second one's not done being organized yet over here I just have like my devotions um a couple of notebooks because I love to journal write down like my dreams and things there's one of my favorite books ever think and grow rich by Napoleon Hill is in there because I do like to read that book sometimes I just keep my braces in here just in case I need to wear them throughout the night I also have some um, makeup removing wipes just because you know sometimes it gets a little rough at night and you don't always want to get up and wash your face but skincare is really important so at least the least I could do is just take off my makeup okay so that's why I keep these next to my bed um, I keep some hair clips because you never know when I might have a wig on and can't really snatch it off so I want to clip it up and then obviously you know just some lip balm and a little bit of Vaseline just in case I take off my makeup and my lips are dry here is some body butter from a bath and body works nothing special but I like to keep it next to my bed because sometimes I like to lotion up in here after I get a shower and then over here I just have this little basket from Target in here um, I have a bunch of like old phones that London likes to play with you know these are her phones according to her so um I just, you know, she'll charge them up and she can use them. It's like old iPod and her headphones, extra chargers, anything electronic goes over there. Now for my bed. This fabric right here was definitely a huge inspiration for my room. Once I saw this fabric, I was like, oh wow. This fabric and this fabric are right next to each other. And I was like, oh my God, they go together so well I this reminded me of the curtains that I had and this was just some mystery color that I didn't know about but I was like you know what if I can find a paint color that's similar to this like this would totally work because look at the contrast it looks so nice together so that's kind of how I came up with the color that I wanted for my room I got pretty close without getting too dark which is what I wanted so I'm very happy and I love this pillow and this pillow Along with this pillow, along with that pillow, along with these pillows are all DIYs. And I did make a video showing you guys how I DIYed these pillows. These are actually like $5 pillows from Ikea and I just recovered them. And I didn't sew a thing, okay? So these pillows, they're on there. And anytime I want to take off this cover and wash it, I can do that and put it right back on or even change it out if I want to move these pillows to different rooms. So I will link the video to how to make these DIY um, throw pillows up here. And I will also link it down in the description box below. Now over here, I just have my shoe shelf. 
Whoa, I didn't want to make this video too, too long. So if you're interested in seeing the rest of my room tour and my shoe collection, jewelry collection, and how I organize all of my drawers, then make sure you click on part two to finish this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.